friends in this video we will study the measurement of high resistances using the megger method high resistances are those resistance which are of the order of 100 kilo ohms or 0.1 mega ohm and greater than it so let's start with our topic <music> the high resistances they are those resistances which are of the value greater than 100 kilo ohms or 0.1 mega ohm so all those resistances which are under this range they will be categorized as the high resistances There are various examples of high resistances like insulation resistance of the electrical equipments like machines and cables and leakage resistances of capacitors, resistance of high resistance circuits like vacuum tubes and volume resistivity and surface resistivity of the material. So these are the examples of high resistances. Now for the measurement of these high resistances there are various methods like direct deflection method, loss of charge method, mega ohm method and mega method. So here we will study the mega method which is used for the measurement of high resistances. Let us first see the construction of the mega circuit. This is the diagram for the mega method. In this we have the mega so let us see the various components of this first we have the current coil and the potential coil the current coil it is circular in shape we have the uh, you can see that we have an annular iron ring in between the two magnets one is this magnet and the other is this magnet okay then we have the current coil in between which is in the vertical position and in the horizontal position we have the two voltage coils V1 and V2 which are also known as the potential coils. The current coils they are also known as the pressure coils okay. Current coil is fixed whereas the potential coil it is rotating. Now in the in between the two magnets we have this annular iron ring in between present to it and on this current coil we have a pointer which is connected and this pointer is rotating or uh, it is moving over a calibrated scale and the divisions on the scale are from 0 to infinity okay now uh, we have a hand driven generator which is providing the voltage and current in this and this generator is connected to the voltage coils here you can see okay and also we have the potential resistances and the current resistances also in the current coil also we have the resistances connected here and through the potential coil also we have some resistances connected now these resistances are connected to protect the instrument from any type of damage this rx is the unknown resistance or the high resistance which we want to measure so these are the components of this mega now let us study these components in some detail the first component is the current coil and the potential coil so there is one current coil and there are two potential coils in the mega two potential coils are v1 and v2 this v1 potential coil it embraces the embraces the annular magnetic core you can see here we are having the v1 and this v1 potential coil is inside the annular iron ring 
okay this annular iron ring is in so is uh, circular in shape that is c c shape annular iron ring is there and in between this ring we have the v1 potential coil now this v1 uh, when current is passing through this annular iron ring it will be magnetized and this v1 potential coil it moves in the magnetic field of this iron ring so when v1 is in the weak magnetic field pointer is at infinity So when the V1 potential coil it is in the weak magnetic field of the annular ring then uh, the pointer it will be at the infinity position it means that the resistance in the circuit what we are measuring that resistance is of infinite value and also it exerts very little torque. Now second case is that when the V1 potential coil is in strong magnetic field. V1 is in strong magnetic field the pointer will be at zero position indicating that the resistance is of zero value and it is going to exert the maximum torque. So here you can see that the movement of the V1 in the magnetic field it will affect the movement of the pointer over the calibrated scale. Now this pointer it is moving over the scale from zero to infinity. So when V1 it is in the strong magnetic field that is it is in the uh, uh, horizontal position and the current coil it is in vertical position. So that will be the strong magnetic field when it is in just between that uh, C shaped annual uh, ring then the magnetic field will be very strong so at that time the pointer will be at the uh, infinity uh, at the zero position because at that time maximum torque will be exerted and when the v1 it is in weak magnetic field then the pointer will be at the infinite position it means that the very high resistance is present in the circuit which is not allowing the current to flow through the circuit now talking about the current coil, uh, the current coil it, it is in vertical position and through the current coil the pointer is attached. So the second component of Megar is the pointer. Now this pointer, one end of the pointer is attached to the current coil and another end of the pointer it is moving over the calibrated scale which is having the divisions from 0 to infinity. Now this is a calibrated scale so we can directly read the value of the resistance which we are measuring from this scale. So this uh, pointer it is uh, directly indicating us the value of the unknown resistance. Now third component of Megar is the scale. Now scale is provided in front of the mega and in that scale we have the divisions from 0 to infinity and through this we can read the values of the unknown resistance. Next component is the DC generator or the battery connection. Now the voltage required in the circuit it is provided by the hand driven generator. In the diagram you can see we have a hand driven generator. Now uh, this hand driven generator is used in the case when we are having we, when we are manually operating the mega okay and when we are automatically in, uh, 
using it when we are using an automatic mega then we can provide here the battery or an electronic voltmeter so the voltage it is provided by this generator So uh, this was the fourth component of the mega. Next component are the pressure and the current coil resistances. Now with the potential coil and the current coil some resistances are connected so as to protect the instrument from any type of damage. So this was the construction of the mega. Let's see that how it works. Now the unknown resistance which we want to measure that unknown resistance is connected in series with this uh, hand driven generator you can see this is our hand driven generator and in series to it the unknown resistance Rx is connected. Now this electrical resistance it is in it is connected with the hand driven generator also and it is in series with this deflecting coil. Now this deflecting coil means the current coil through which the deflection pointer is connected. Now if there is any movement in this uh, when uh, the circuit is uh, provided here means when the current is flowing through the circuit then due to the magnetic field of this magnet the circular iron ring it also get magnetized and a torque will be produced and this produced torque it will be in the opposite direction of the current which is supplied to it so uh, this uh, current coil it will start deflecting from its position and due to the movement of this current coil the pointer will also move over the calibrated scale now the movement of this pointer it is in proportion to the value of this unknown resistance because if resistance is very high then the current flowing in the circuit will be small torque will be small and uh, due to that torque the movement of the pointer will be affected now let us see that uh, how uh, the value of torque or the current it will affect the movement of the pointer now when we are measuring high resistance then the value of this unknown resistance is very high then no current will flow through the circuit and uh, when the current flowing through the circuit is very small it means the pointer will be at the infinity position so high resistance means no current and pointer will be at infinity then next we have the small resistance if the value of the unknown resistance is very small then small amount of current will be flowing and the pointer will move between the zero and the infinity. Okay, now when the resistance it is uh, 
very very small it means uh, negligible zero resistance is there then the value of the current will be very high high current will be flowing and when current is high then the pointer will be at the zero position it means the resistance in the circuit is zero okay so there are three readings according to the value of the current and the resistance if the unknown resistance which we are measuring it is of very high value then no current will flow through it and the pointer will be at the infinity position means the current coil it is uh, exerting very it is in very weak magnetic field okay now when this unknown resistance it is in intermediate position like uh, intermediate value not so very high uh, not very high value and not so small then the pointer will be in between zero and infinity and when this unknown resistance is of very small value negligible then the pointer will be at the zero position and uh, no uh, and a large amount of current will be flowing in the circuit so this is how the megger is used for the measurement of the unknown resistance which is of very high value of the order of 100 kilo ohms or 0.1 mega ohm and greater than it okay and these are the various uh, here we have connected the resistances because we can ch uh, change it uh, scales if it is in uh, cross one means into one that means the range of the resistances is very small if it is into 100 then the range of the resistances is very high okay so in this video we studied the measurement of high resistances using the mega method so i hope that this topic is clear to you thank you